The Ghost of Arendelle from Disney's Frozen. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named The Ghost of Arendelle from Disney's Frozen. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. One afternoon, Anna and Olaf were in the Royal Library when Olaf spotted a large pink book. Oh, I like this one, Olaf exclaimed. Wait, what's it about? Anna read the title aloud. How to find a goat. I love ghosts, Olaf announced. What's a ghost? Anna explained with a smile, then put her book down. I have an idea. Follow me. Minutes later, Anna and Olaf burst into Elsa's office. Elsa, Anna said, Olaf wants to learn about ghosts, and I think we should have an indoor camp out and go looking for one. Exactly, Anna said. Hours later, Elsa gathered some snacks from the kitchen, and Anna grabbed lots of pillows and blankets from their bedroom. Then they met Olaf and began to look for a dark, spooky room they could use. They ended up in an old, unused portion of the castle. I can't wait to learn about ghosts, Olaf said. Let's make a fire and roast marshmallows first, Anna said. Oh, I just love warm fireplaces, Olaf declared. After the sisters had eaten their fill of roasted marshmallows, and Olaf had created a sticky marshmallow tower, they settled down with their blankets and pillows. Is it time to learn about ghosts? Olaf asked. Yes, Anna fed. You go first, Elsa. Elsa laid the book in her lap and began to read. Long ago, on a dark night in Arendelle, she whispered. She continued her story as Olaf listened wide-eyed. A while later, Elsa heard a snort. Anna had fallen asleep. Well, Olaf, I guess my ghost story made Anna pretty tired. Come to think of it, I'm tired too, Elsa said as she yawned and snuggled down under her blanket. Maybe we'll find a ghost tomorrow. I'd like to meet a ghost, Olaf said, before blowing out the candle. Soon, both sisters were sound asleep, but Olaf couldn't rest. He wanted to meet a ghost as soon as possible. As he looked through the book, he remembered something Elsa had read to him. Apparently, ghosts got lonely and wandered around at night. Sometimes I get lonely and wander around at night, too, Olaf said. Maybe the ghost and I could wander together. As Olaf walked down the hallway, he noticed how dark it was. The only light came from the windows. He looked right and left, up and down, but he didn't see any ghosts. Hello, Olaf said aloud. Ghost, I'm here to be your friend. Nobody answered. Olaf turned a dark corner at the end of a hallway, and then he tumbled down a staircase. Anna and Elsa woke with a start. What was that? they asked in unison. Then, I don't know. And where is Olaf? Anna asked. Elsa lit some candles, and they wandered into the hallway. Oh! came a little voice from the bottom of the staircase. On a gasp that sounded like a ghost, Olaf said. They crept down, down, down the stairs. Hello, are you there, Sir Ghost? Elsa said. We want to be your friends, Anna added. Oh, oh, I want to be friends too, the ghost said. Anna and Elsa stopped short. Are you ghosts? The ghost said. Wait, said Olaf suspiciously. Elsa quickly pulled off the sheet. 
Oh, I can see again, Olaf exclaimed. Thank you, ghost. Looks just like Elsa, Anna said. I am Elsa, she replied with a laugh. Oh, okay, settle off, Olaf said. He pointed to Anna and said, And you are Anna. Said Anna, Olaf replied. Olaf, you made this our best ghost hunt ever, Anna declared. But I didn't find any ghost, Olaf replied. Well, maybe you didn't, but you became the best ghost, like snowman we've ever seen, Anna declared. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.